over distributed property. My learning target is I can generate equivalent expressions using the properties of operation. In this case, we're talking about distributive property. So we're going to talk about multiplication over addition. So when you are adding two numbers inside of parentheses, and then multiplying the sum by the number on the outside, it is equal to multiplying the number on the outside by each number in the inside and then adding the two sums. That's a lot of words so I'm going to show you an example of this. So I have 2 times 3 plus 4. So this is basically the same as 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. So um, that would be 6 plus 8, which is 14. And this side also equals 14. All right, then we have multiplication over subtraction. So when you're subtracting two numbers inside the parentheses and then multiplying the difference times the number on the outside it is equal to multiplying the number on the outside of the parentheses by each number in the inside and then subtracting the two products. So if we did five times six is 30, five times negative, or sorry, five times two is 10, so that would be 20. That is the same as 5 times 6, which is 30. And 5 times 2, which is 10. So that would be 20 equals 20. Or you could also see that this is 5 times 4, which is also 20. This would be 2 times 7 which is also 14. All right, let's do some examples. Example number one, three times five is 15. Three times six is 18. I add these together. My answer is 33. So we're going to do example number two. Two times four is eight. Two times one is two, so we get six. All right, number one. Two times four is 24. Two or sorry, six times four is twenty-four. Six times nine is fifty-four. So this is seventy-eight. All right, number two, three times seven is twenty-one. 3 times 3 is 9, 
21 times, or minus 9 is 12. Number 3, 12 times negative 20 is negative 240. And then 12 times 13 is 156. Then we keep change, change. So 240 plus 156, if we remember our integer rules. So this would be negative 396. All right, number four, negative 15 times 43. So be negative 645. Subtracting negative 15 times 27. Which is negative 405 so keep change change they're different signs so we're going to subtract them so we get negative 240 10 times 19 is 190, and 10 times 7 is 70, so this would be 260. Seven times eight is 56. Seven times 12 is 84. And we're going to add these two. Sorry, I added the wrong number. One hundred forty. Number seven, negative nine times negative twelve. 108, negative 9 times 3 is negative 27, so we're going to subtract these because they have different signs. So it is going to be 81. Number 8, 1 half times 12. So that would be 12 over 2, which simplifies to 6. One half times thirty four would be thirty two, or sorry, thirty four over two, which simplifies to seventeen. Add those together, and we get twenty three. All right, last one sixteen times one eighth is sixteen over eight, which simplifies to two, and then I have. 16 times 1, which is 16, keep change, change, this would be negative 14.